Welcome to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, where we bring you all the exciting action of the Southern University football program. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, the Louisiana Lottery, Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport, Amerigroup Insurance, McLean Financial Group, the Communities of Color Network, Tobacco-Free Living, Mid-South Bank, and Jerry Lane Buick GMC. Hello and welcome to week seven of the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Of course, we come to you each week from the end zone, Dacqueries and Bar, located at 6224 Plank Road. We invite you to come out Monday nights in the neighborhood of seven o'clock and watch us shoot the show live and have some Southern University football conversation with Coach and I after we shoot the show. Coach, we come on about five times a week. You can catch us on Cox 4. You can also catch us on Cox 1013. And you can also catch us at your leisure on YouTube and Facebook. The Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. So check us out whenever you can. Coach, to start this week's show, a uniquely unique situation of the 2016 seasons continues. Um, another open date, unprecedented, two open dates back to back. Uh, it gives us an opportunity to get some folks healed up, but it also gives us an opportunity to really work on some things. How was practice last week and did you get a chance to work on the things you want to work on? Well, exactly. You know, I think we had an opportunity to to really work on blocking and tackling the fundamentals of football, alignment, assignment, and execution. So I, I really think our offense continued to improve. We got a chance to get some guys healthy and really had an opportunity to just focus on one or two things and really work on them without having those games uh, during those bye weeks. Coach, the open date also means hitting the recruiting trail. We talked about it last week. Did you get a chance to see some good football players this past weekend? Well, exactly. You know, this state is always a great recruiting ground for us. Uh, you know, all throughout the state, it's a lot of good players. We had an opportunity to get on the road, and we're looking for that next Jaguar. And I think our coaches did a great job uh, going over the state of Louisiana, really trying to get into the uh, schools of uh, this in-state and just really focusing on our backyard in the interstate of Louisiana. Well, Coach, we're going to get out of this segment because we got a really good interview segment that's a little longer than normal. So when we get ready to come back for the second segment, we're going to talk some more Jaguar football. Stay with us right here on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Welcome to the Multiplier Games. At Mid-South Bank, we're dedicated to providing loans that allow our customers to achieve their business and personal dreams. That's one promise you can bank on. We're not just business associates, we're neighbors. We're committed to our customers and the strength of our local economy. Here at Mid-South Bank, responsibility matters. With locations in Texas and Louisiana and still growing, discover how our customers are finding strength in numbers at Mid-South Bank. Traveling with kids is kind of a nightmare, but flying out of BTR makes it stress-free. Everyone there is so much friendlier than any other airport I've been to. You can't have a fantastic city without the community support of a great airport. I can actually get anywhere in the world from right here in town. BTR makes travel so easy that I feel at home right when my plane lands. It takes almost no time to get back to my family. So that feeling of, ah, uh, this is home, for me, happens at BTR. So we can feel wherever you feel, together be real, together. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling. Nothing can ever bring me down. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling. Nothing can ever bring me down. Here we go. Taste the feeling.
Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, talking about an open date gives us an opportunity to assess some injuries. Talk about the injury bug, a real important factor during the course of a season because sometimes injuries can take out a great player, sometimes it can take out a not so uh, important player, but it really makes your team a different team. How have we fared with the injury bug thus far? Well, you know, I think it's been, you know, four games into the season, and we're as healthy as we probably could ask for. You know, we had the two weeks off, really gave our guys a chance to, to work on rest, recovery, and, and focus on their grades. And, you know, I really think we're as healthy as we need to be going down the stretch. We got a tough stretch in front of us. You know, we don't get another bye week. We're going to play seven games in a row. So it'll be a difficult challenge for us, but we're going into those seven weeks as healthy as, as we ever been. Coach, one of the players that I really feel could be a difference maker for your team, for your defense, is uh, defensive safety Raheem Ledbetter. He's a hard-hitting player, came in with a lot of fanfare. He should be back for Jackson State this weekend. Talk about the impact the player of his caliber has for your defense. Well, very explosive. You know, he's a young man that he sit out the first four games where got an opportunity to get him some work. Those two weeks off really helped get him up to speed. and. You know, I think you're going to see his presence felt on the field, on special teams first, and then as he continues to improve and, and gain the knowledge of what we're doing on defense, you're going to be able to see him some at that, at that safety position. He's a dynamic football player, brings a lot of energy to the table, and we're excited to have him back on the field. Coach, both of your units, offense and defense, are at the top or near the top of the SWAC statistically. SWACs don't normally equal wins, but when you're doing that well, a lot of times they do. Talk about how important that is to be statistically sound with you know, yards, uh, uh, minutes where you guys uh, possess the ball, uh, tackles. Uh, talk about statistics and how they help a team measure how well they're doing. Well, the big thing I think is, you know, the one stat that really tells the difference between the first two games and the last two games is turnover margin. I think our offense has done a great job of protecting the football, and defensively we've done a great job of getting the ball allowed. And any time you can win the turnover margin, your chances of winning goes up significantly, and we really focus on that category. You know, we only talk about really penalties, turnovers, and effort. And, you know, when you're one of the least penalized teams in the conference, it really talks about the discipline of your football team. So those things working together really is giving this football team an opportunity to get off to a fast start in the sweat. All right. Well, thank you, Coach. When we come back, we're going to look at our uh, Alpha Media Players of the Week and also the Coca-Cola Player Interview. Stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. two kids. And like any mom, I want them to be healthy. So I chose Amerigroup Louisiana for our Healthy Louisiana plan. We get all our Medicaid benefits and pharmacy and prescription drug coverage. But you know what I really like? I get rewards for taking my kids to their doctor visits. Choose Amerigroup Louisiana. Call 1-855-229-6848 today. That's 1-855-229-6848. To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., about one in five African American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking affects us all. You can count on Jerry Lane. At 
Jerry Lane, they rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been Jerry. You know what? It's tradition. It's family. And that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. Get the line, get the line. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, every week in this uh, segment, we talk about the Alpha Media Players of the Week, and we talk about the uh, we have the Coca-Cola Player Interview. Who were the Alpha Media Players of the Week on offense and defense for this open week and leadership and following the rules and being great gentlemen? Well, you know, offensively, you know, we have two guys that I think really have came you know, out through this bye week to really get themselves locked in and focused for the stretch run. That's running back uh, Lenard Tillery. He's doing an outstanding job for us. And offensive lineman Anthony Mosley. I think the energy that those guys bring on offense really get us through the, this time where we're not playing games. Special teams, two guys that I think are really uh, standing out and doing a great job is our long snapper, David Michael Carell, and our returner, Willie Quinn. And defensively, I mean, these guys are really coming to work, but the one guy that's always up front and doing a great job for us is, is uh, Danny Johnson and Aaron Tiller. Coach, of course, a lot of times we always interview the skill position guys, the quarterback, the running back, the wide receiver, the linebacker, the defensive back that makes the big plays. Well, this week we took the opportunity to let the Coca-Cola interview shine on players that don't normally get the media attention but do very important jobs like David Michael Correll, a long snapper, some offensive linemen, and we're going to file this report so people can get a chance to meet some of these Jaguars. I'm here with Deontay Shorts, redshirt junior quarterback. Deontay is the change maker for the Southern University Jaguar football program. Deontay, talk to us a little bit about the offensive output in the first two SWAT games. 60 points, a lot of points, a lot of offense. What do you see for the rest of the season? Uh, we have high expectations for the rest of the season. I mean, from the first two uh, conference games, I mean, the sky's the limit for us. So I feel everybody do their one in 11 will be very successful. Deontay, when you come in, the team is looking for a little bit of a change of pace. You're known as a running quarterback, but you can also throw it. Talk to us about your game and your expectations of yourself. Uh, when I come in, man, I just try to do the best I can and make an uh, explosive play. My, my number one goal is to keep the chains moving and get in the end zone. So just to finish the game. Okay. All right. Appreciate it, Deontay. Good luck with the rest of the season. All right. Thanks. All right. I'm now here with Randall Menard, junior wide receiver from Bro Bridge High. Randall, freshman year, you came and bust onto the scene, had a great year. Your sophomore year, you got hurt. How does it feel to be back, back in the swing in your junior year? And how do you feel about your production so far? Uh, well, it feels great. Um, just a little rusty, getting, just getting back in the groove. Okay. All right, Randall, talk to us about playing with a prolific quarterback like uh, Austin Howard. Uh, it feels great. Um, he come to practice every day with high expectations. Uh, he expect a lot from us, and we expect a lot from him. He does his 111, and we do ours. All right. Also, you get a chance to play with another great wide receiver and Willie Quinn. Of course, a lot of teams are going to be putting time and attention on Willie, so that gives you an opportunity for you to get open and you to make some plays. Talk about that opportunity for yourself. I mean, it feels great. I mean, they can't double-team us both. So it feels great. I mean, he always have a smile on his face. It's never a dull moment with Willie. Just a great explosive player. All right. Thanks, Randall. I'm here with redshirt senior Terrell Lee from Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, he has the distinction of being a part of the offensive line that blocks for uh, potentially the greatest running back in SWAC history, uh, Lennard Tillery. Talk about doing your job and the pride in opening up holes for uh, your running back, your quarterback, and giving time to your quarterback, Austin Howard, to make the throws he makes. Uh, just each and every week I try to 
take the stress off the O line stress off Austin, knowing the blocking scheme. So I just tell them worry about the skill guys, and I just worry about the offensive line. And blocking for Tillery, it's, it's a pleasure blocking for one of the best running backs that ever came through the SWAT. And right now we're just trying to chase, chase one and zero, and chase the uh, all SWAT. Uh, what is it? Lee rushing, and just trying to get better every day. Lee, what do you see you and some of the offensive line uh, talk about when you get ready for a game, when you get ready to go to battle? What are some of the things that you guys tell each other? Because the offensive line is a unique position. You know, it's not a glory position. You're not getting interviewed every night after the game, but you get you, you make it happen for the guys who usually are getting interviewed. What, are the, what does the offensive line talk about? Tell us the mindset of the offensive line uh, as y'all go about your business. Uh, before every game, we, we come together and we tell each other just play the next play because sometimes you have a bad play, sometimes you have a good play. You just got to keep going. And we go to Tillery every day and we go tell them we go give them 200 yards. If it's just 160, we go just put, try to push the 200 yard mark each and every game. All right. Well, good luck with the rest of the season. Now I'm here with Nico McDonald, senior defensive back from Lawrence County High School in Mississippi. Uh, Nico, you are having a good year. You guys are really playing great defense. Talk about uh, the difference in last year and this year uh, in stopping teams and really, really owning the defensive side of the field. I think from last year and this year, we're prepared to stop the run. And every week we come out and practice, and our mindset is one and no. No matter what we do, we don't think about the past. We don't think about the future. We don't think about what we did last week or what we're going to do next week. All, our mindset is one and no. You get a chance to play opposite all SWAC performer Danny Johnson. A lot of teams are not going to throw Danny's way because they're worried about him. He already has four interceptions on the year. So that gives you an opportunity to make some plays and do some big things. Talk about that opportunity uh, for yourself. Well, Danny is a great player. He's a real good player, and he, he got a lot of in interceptions this year. So. It, Quarterbacks are not looking to throw the ball his way. They're looking to throw it other ways, and that gets a lot of DBs chance to make plays on balls. So it works out well for the defense. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Now I'm here with Aaron Tiller, junior defensive end uh, from Columbus, Ohio. Aaron has been one of the mainstays of the dog day defense, consistently one of the top tacklers and consistently one of the leaders on the defense. Aaron, talk to us about the difference between this year's defense and last year's defense, uh, uh, and a little bit between Dawson Odom style and the new defensive coordinator, Trey Oliver style. Uh, last year, I was like the baby of the D-line, you know, so I really ain't had to do much responsibility. This year, I feel like I got a lot of people looking up to me as far as my segment stands, and I got to I gotta go out and show them by performance. I don't do a lot of talking, so you just got to go out and play, and hopefully they follow in your footsteps. A defensive end that doesn't do a lot of talking? Yeah, I don't, I don't do much talking. I just let my performance play. But as far as uh, the difference between Coach Odom and Coach Oliver, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it really there's no difference, but just the scheme is a little bit different. But not really because Coach Odom stands in front of us and he watches everything we do, so he still puts his input in, and he still got the same expectations for me, for whoever we play for, or whoever, you know what I'm saying, whoever they call him to play. So it ain't nothing. It's play fast and effort and intensity. That's, that's all we got to do on defense. Tell us a little bit about what you expect for the rest of the way as you guys try to get the SWAC championship this year. Well, we gotta be. We gotta go one and zero against Jackson State. I mean, and then other than that, I don't, I don't really don't know. I just know we gotta go out there next, well, in two weeks, and, and go play our hearts out against Jackson State. Then worry about the next opponent once that clock is zero. One game at a time is 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 the rule. That's it. One game at a time. Don't look ahead. All right. Good luck to you. Appreciate it. Right. Now I'm here with David Michael Correll, sophomore long snapper from South Terrebonne High School. David. You guys don't get a lot of attention, uh, but you do an important job. Uh, long snapping to the punters, to the kickers, uh, uh, for extra points. Tell us a little bit about what your job demands. Well, my job demands perfection, and that's all there really is to it. Every snap's got to be perfect. Anything less is not doing my job. Coach has me on scholarship here to be perfect, and that's my goal. Okay. Talk to us a little bit about how, how important special teams are to the success of the Jaguar football team. Special teams definitely one third of the game. I mean, when you got returners like Willie making big plays. It's, you got kickers like Ron Albuquerque going five for five, and 
punters, you know, like Taylor Merritt, who can really boom the ball. It's just my job to keep my head low and snap perfect. Okay. Well, we appreciate it, and good luck to you the rest of the way. Thank you. All right. Take care. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. We appreciate you taking the time out to talk to us on the Jaguar football show. It's good to get them some exposure. When we come back, we're going to talk J-State. It's that week. Stay with us on the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. At Mid-South Bank, we're dedicated to providing loans that allow our customers to achieve their business and personal dreams. That's one promise you can bank on. We're not just business associates, we're neighbors. We're committed to our customers and the strength of our local economy. Here at Mid-South Bank, responsibility matters. With locations in Texas and Louisiana and still growing, discover how our customers are finding strength in numbers at Mid-South Bank. Traveling with kids is kind of a nightmare, but flying out of BTR makes it stress-free. Everyone there is so much friendlier than any other airport I've been to. You can't have a fantastic city without the community support of a great airport. I can actually get anywhere in the world from right here in town. BTR makes travel so easy that I feel at home right when my plane lands. It takes almost no time to get back to my family. So that feeling of, ah, uh, this is home, for me, happens at BTR. So we can feel wherever you feel Together be real, together No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Together be real, Welcome back to the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, this is, for me, one of the biggest weeks of the Southern University football schedule. The game between Jackson State and Southern University is always, to me, one of the best pure black college football experiences you can have. Tailgating, alumni, students, it's a big fanfare, and it's usually a good game. Coach, this year, Coach Tony Hughes has his Tigers at 1-3 one overall, 1-1 one one in the conference after a loss to Gramlin and a two-point win over UAPB two weekends ago. They were off like us last weekend, but the, Jag the Tigers are actually at the top of the SWAC East. Uh, what do the Tigers like to do offensively and defensively? Well, you know, got a big offensive line. You know, I really think that the emphasis is on running the football. Uh, Daniels is a very good rod receiver. They do try to find ways to get him the football, but you know I really think defensively they're going to blitz you and get out of you and and really bring pressure, especially if they can get you to um, to third down. So you know we got to be ready. I think we're playing against a very good football team. They're starting to hit their stride. We've been off for a while. You know hopefully our timing will still be there, and hopefully we get our football team eager and, and ready to go. The Tigers won a squeaker over Jay State, 16-14, and their old coach, Rick Comagy. Coach, is that a barometer of how good or not good the Tigers are? Or is that kind of like fool's gold, they're better than that? Well, you know, I think we look at every week, you know, a different opponent, and we can't look at what they did against the previous opponents. But at the end of the day, it's about us versus them and, and us taking care of our responsibility. And if we do those things, we like our chances in football games and we like to give ourselves chances in the fourth quarter. All right, get your tickets and be at Mississippi Memorial Stadium this Saturday for J State Southern. Stay with us and we'll come back and wrap up the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. two kids. 
And like any mom, I want them to be healthy. So I chose Amerigroup Louisiana for our Healthy Louisiana plan. We get all our Medicaid benefits and pharmacy and prescription drug coverage. But you know what I really like? I get rewards for taking my kids to their doctor visits. Choose Amerigroup Louisiana. Call 1-855-229-6848 today. That's 1-855-229-6848. To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients, a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., about one in five African American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking affects us all. Jerry Lane, they rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been Jerry. Jerry Lane. You know what? It's tradition. It's family. And that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. Get the line, get the line. Get the line, get the line. Get the line, get the line. We're, We're a Jerry Lane family. Always be to. Welcome back to the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, quickly, I'm going to ask you a question. You've been a head coach here now for four years. What is your favorite game in the SWAC season? Well, I would say the you know the SWAC championship game. I think that's that's ultimately the goal. And I think when you get there, you've done accomplished the the highs you can accomplish as a coach in the SWAC. All right. In the regular season, what's your favorite game in the SWAC? You know, I would say, you know, it's always a pleasure playing against Jackson State and Grambling. You know, I think those two games have electric atmosphere and, you know, I think the fans are excited about it and usually have great crowds. So I would pick those two games as, as two games that I love coaching in. Well, there you have it from the coach. Of course, you can catch us each week on Cox 1004 or Cox 1013. Uh, you can also catch us on our YouTube and Facebook pages, the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. And so, as always, we want you to buy some tickets and support those Jaguars. And Coach, as we always do when we get ready to end the show, Go, go Jags! Jags.